<laughs> Hello, it's Stephanie, and um, I'm talking about CHD stuff. Uh, I have a couple more CHD fail things that I wanted to share with you. Um, today, my ex-boyfriend called me, and as soon as he watched the video, the CHD fail video, and he said, you forgot the biggest one, Steph. How about when, on our first date, I had to ride in an ambulance? So this is what happened. This was when I was about 19, and uh, I used to have a really big dog, and um, yeah, she was about 75-ish pounds, and I was about 90 pounds. <laughs> And um, so I, I was taking her on a walk, and usually I had pretty good control over her and stuff. But anyway, she saw a freaking squirrel, and she lost it. I didn't want to let her go, and so I, like, tried to hold on to her. And um, she pulled my shoulder and my arm. I had no idea what happened. I thought maybe she pulled my arm out of my socket or something. I was like, all right, whatever. So... I don't know, maybe like an hour-ish later, um, I just was, I was not feeling good at all, and I was just feeling really just like weird, and the whole left side of my body was numb, and my, my whole like arm was numb, and um, my heart was pounding, and I was just feeling crazy things. So I looked it up on the internet, <laughs> um, left side of the body going numb, and stroke came up and so I called 911 and I said that I have CHD and I think I'm having a stroke. I was sitting in my car at the time they told me not to move. I figured you know I had called 911 several times before thinking you know this or that was happening and you know sometimes they just come out and check on me. Um, sometimes they definitely have to take me in just to make sure. Um, so I, I knew, um, I don't know if, I don't know if it's okay if I say his name or not, but so I knew he was on his way in a little bit, but I figured, you know, they would just come and send the paramedics in to check on me and then I would hopefully be okay and then they would send and then I would go away and then I could go on my date. I was 19, I don't know, I didn't really have it too well planned out. So they get there at the same time. I was like, no! <laughs> and um, so he knocks on the door and I stand like right in front of the doorway. And okay, so my front door was here, whatever, here's the living room. And you just go in the door and straight up the stairs. And so I was standing to where you couldn't see behind me, as if you couldn't see paramedics in a stretcher. But anyway, and firemen. Um, so I, I said, hi. I was like, hey, um, can you just go upstairs? And he was like, yeah, why are you OK? What's wrong? And I was like, just go upstairs. Everything's fine. Um, it's okay. Just, I'll, you know, it'll just like be a few minutes. Um, I just wasn't feeling very good or something and it, it was an accident call and I just, I, I don't even know. I have no idea what I actually said, but, um, I was just making that up. But so then he went, he was like, okay, you know, he was such an, <laughs> no questions. He was just like, okay, all right, all right. So he goes straight up the stairs and I was, aw okay, this was our first date, okay? Mind you, I'm not a cheater. So, one of the volunteer firemen that had showed up, um, I was actually also, it's my cat, I was aw actually also talking to, kind of, at the time. So, I was freaking out. And I was like, okay, and I just kept telling them. I said, I'm fine, you know, I'm okay. Maybe I was just freaking out, I'm sorry. And so they were like, no, sorry, we have to take you in. You can't say you're having a stroke, you have half of a heart and all these problems, 
and us just leave you. That's just not. This is my cat. And that's just not. <laughs> anyway, that's just not gonna happen. It's okay, Ma. It's okay. Um, and so they took me in, <laughs> and I said, "Okay, you can come down the stairs." Um, do you mind riding in the ambulance? I just have to go to the hospital for a minute. <laughs> And so I honestly don't even remember what he said would happen after that. But I know that the volunteer fireman guy was one of the guys carrying me out on the stretcher as the guy I was supposed to go on the first date with was walking behind them. And he rode on the first or er, rode, rode in the front run, uh, front row front seat. And um, yeah, that was a huge, huge CHD fail. <laughs> so, um, and, uh, so like once we were, I don't know, either on the way out or something, I don't know when I said this, but I was just like, yeah, so I forgot to mention that I have heart problems. And he's like, yeah, obviously something's wrong with you. But anyway, he was cool. So, well, and now that Molly's scratching at me, um, so I'll introduce you to my cat. She's not as unhappy as she actually looks. Say hi, Moles. Say hello's. So she was abused, like hardcore. Somebody, somebody abused her like so bad that she lost her voice box, which is why she sounds like a scratchy kitty scratchy voice and um but so she loves her life but anyway so she's like straight up from the streets of LA and so she's pretty gangster so I named her Molly from uh, the movie Annie you know Molly's the one that goes oh my goodness oh my goodness she's Annie's best friend and because I didn't like the name Annie for a cat, that's just weird. Maybe I'll think Molly's weird too, but see, it's my kitty cat. Bye, bye. Say bye, bye. See you next time. Okay. All right. So then another one was um, <laughs> that I totally forgot about. So um, I used I played softball for eleven years, and. Um, I was third in pitcher, and um, I was pretty good. My uh, my cardiologist said that was the only sport I was allowed to play because I was such an active kid. Growing up with all guys, I was like, you know, I had to play something, and they were like telling me I couldn't play anything. And as a as a kid, and I was like, uh, sorry, but that's just not going to happen. So pick a sport because something needs to happen here. My cardiologist said. You know, I guess since you're stopping at the bases, you can play softball. And, you know, depending on the um, the heat, you know, and the Coumadin, and I would have to go off the Coumadin during season and go on aspirin and because of the bruising. And then I wasn't allowed to play or practice in the heat, like when it was too hot which was a lot. I wasn't allowed to run for practice. I wasn't allowed to do half the crap for practices. So I'd like hang out with my coach like, hey, and everybody else is like, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with you? Why do you just sit there? Why do you just like stand there during practice and everybody else has to like work their butts off? I'm like, I don't know. But I'm not explaining anything to you. So anyway, okay, so the CHD fail in that is pretty hilarious because I was actually the only um, softball player probably ever in history that um, have, like consciously had to avoid getting home runs because I couldn't run around the bases. I mean, I could, but like... By the time I would get to third, I would definitely be out. I think I had a couple home runs in my lifetime, 
but I was so, if I would get a home run, I would, it'd be like, Shh. and then I'd see it and I'd be like, no, no, everybody be like, run, run, run. And I'm like, no, please, somebody catch it. So I'm out, please. <laughs> and then it would go so far. So everybody be like, run, run, run. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, and so I would run around all the bases and then have to sit out for pretty much the rest of the game. <laughs> so that's definitely a huge CHD fail in my eyes. Um, so that's all for right now. I'm going to make another video here in a little bit. Um, I think it's pretty late, but kind of a night owl. So... All right. Well, I'm glad you guys are enjoying my videos. Keep, um, I don't know, commenting and letting me know if it's good. And again, you know, if y'all have any suggestions, let me know. All right. See you next time.